you had enough of COVID and politics, thank God there's the football. Spectator columnist Rod Lidder has been watching the Euros 2021 and blogging daily for the Spectator on Coffee House with his observations, who he's cheering for and which commentators get on his nerves. Rod, welcome back to Spectator TV. So talk us through your highlights so far. Uh, Wales, uh, without question, I think they've been a revelation. Um, and there's a misapprehension about Wales as well, which is which is basically that they're plucky underdogs, you know, uh, and one hopes that they do well, but one doesn't hold out very much expectation for them. As it happens, they're one of the more talented teams in the tournament. You know, they've got people, uh, uh, there's Dan, Danny James, for example, Gareth Bale, we all know about, Aaron Ramsey. Uh, but also, I mean, they're able to bring on from the bench a player of the uh, worth of... Uh, of David Brooks of Bournemouth, an absolutely brilliant young player. Uh, there's a lot of skill there. And, do you know, they hammered the Turks. Uh, I, you wouldn't have known it to listen to the commentary uh, because um, poor Robbie Savage was having a fit. He was very, very nervous. Um, but, in fact, the Turks never came anywhere near them. Uh, it was a thoroughly deserved victory. Uh, and they've got a good draw against a very good Swiss team, and they're through to the next round. So it's terrific, absolutely wonderful. Really enjoyed it, and they played with great verve and panache. And once upon a time, you report to Ipsa for your comments on Wales. So are you changing your opinion or of, of it through football? No, I adore Wales, and I used to live there. <laughs> it's where I began my career. Uh, it's only about... There are nine people in Wales uh, who have had an operation to remove their sense of humour from inside their brains and replace it with crunched up Doritos. Um, and uh, the joke I made about Wales was that the language, it wasn't a very funny joke, was that the language seemed to have too few vowels. How you can report that to the police is it's beyond me, but that's that's another issue. I mean, the vast majority of Welsh people are, 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 are fine. Uh, um, now, in terms of lowlights in the tournament, who is not impressing you? Who do you think? Are, which teams are, do you think look like they are? You know, not in the right place right now. Well, the, the fun about this tournament for me is I'm I'm, I'm a lot older than you, and um, nine, if, if, if if you'd asked me in 1989, you'd be watching the European Championships and you'll be watching a game between Ukraine and North Macedonia. I would have said, who? Where? Ukraine? Does the Soviet Union know about this? Uh, does Yugoslavia know about this? The number of countries in Europe has kind of doubled since, you know, I, I grew up with football. Um, and uh, I, I find it fascinating to see how they've developed as, as, as countries, which is partly what the diary is about. It's, it's more about history and politics than it is about football, um, but also how they've de developed politically uh, in, in a football sense as well. Uh, who hasn't impressed me? Uh, I'm delighted to say every year I do a list of countries I loathe. I've had to put it back this year for various reasons. Um, and Turkey's always in the top three. Um, um, and I'm absolutely delighted to say that Turkey have been hopeless in every possible respect in the tournament so far. Thuggish, belligerent and useless. So I've been delighted to see that. Um, other, other sides, the Czechs are better than uh, I'd expected them to be and we won't find it easy playing them. Um, I was delighted to see the Scots easily defeated um, and but live with the terror that this will come back to haunt me tomorrow afternoon, uh, tomorrow evening. Uh, and that they'll beat us because they will, as the commentators keep saying, turn up to the game, which seems to be an important thing. That all the commentators seem to think it's very important that teams turn up. Um, it's, it's, a, it, it's a remarkable, remarkable idea, isn't it? That this football expertise is the most important thing. You must turn up. Mm -hmm.